This is the weekly report for the second week of October 2009. Meteorologist Amy Dodsey takes a look at the current weather patterns and a pleasant return to cooler temperatures going into the weekend. After almost two weeks of record-breaking temperatures across the state, looks like we are going to finally make a return to some fall conditions as we head into the weekend. Looking at a current satellite image of the eastern United States, we can see a frontal system trying to make its way into the region as a wave of low pressure over Mississippi will make its way toward the South Carolina coast through midweek. Now that'll bring a cold front with it, but it won't make it too far into the state. It's really in the second area of low pressure over Louisiana and Arkansas, and that cold front trailing into Texas that'll really come through our region towards the end of the week and finally bring us our long-awaited temperature change down to near normal temperatures. As both of those low pressure systems make their way through the region through Thursday, they could bring the potential for some isolated heavy rainfall, particularly across North Florida, where one to two inches of rainfall could be experienced through the next 48 hours along with some isolated cases of some severe thunderstorms capable of producing damaging wind gusts or even an isolated tornado. And the cold front will finally make its way into the region on Friday, bringing us our temperatures that are down into the 70s across North Florida and then making their way down south as we head into the weekend across Central and South Florida. Overnight temperatures will also feel a lot more comfortable as we get into the 40s and 50s across North Florida and then the upper 50s to upper 60s across Central and South Florida. And as always, for further updates and additional information on weather and how to get a plan, you can always go to floridadisaster.org.